This is the first video for the 5.3D. We're going to look at uh, composite solids made up of a combination of cylinders, cones, and or spheres. And this first one we're going to look at has one of each. Um, and we're going to skip down to just the volume part, but we're going to look at this for just a minute to try to figure out what's going on. So we have a hemisphere on the end. Um, and it has, it gives us this distance here. And so this distance is the radius. So this is five or this is five, either way. Then it gives us the height of the cylinder and the height of the cone. And here's the radius again, which is five. And so they kind of snuck this in, but it's actually the radius for all of the shapes. All right, so with that in mind, we're gonna write out our uh, formulas here. Um, we have a, this first one is a hemisphere. And we're gonna do a cylinder and the cone or whatever order we wanna do. So for a hemisphere, we're gonna do half of a sphere. Then we have our cylinder, which is pi r squared h. And then we have our cone, which is one third uh, pi r squared h. All right. And as I scroll this up, I'm not gonna be able to see this. So I'm just gonna write myself a note that the height, or I'll write it maybe for this one. The height of this one is 10. Uh, the height of this one is 12. And the radius for all of them are five. All right, so let's figure out this composite solid. We're also gonna to try to answer this one in terms of pi. The last sphere lesson video that you watched, we didn't do much with that, but we'll see if we're able to do it with this one. Okay, so um, we'll start over here. We got one half, four thirds, pi, five cubed, and we're gonna get our answer in terms of pi. And what are we dealing with here? We're dealing with centimeters. So this is cubic centimeters. Clear this out. All right, so we have 0.5 times 4 thirds times, we're gonna wait to do the pi, five cubed. So 83.3 repeating. All right, next up, we're gonna do the cylinder. So we've got five, this time it's squared, times 10, so 250 pi. Feel free to pause the video if I'm uh, going too fast and you're trying to type some of this out or fill this out. And the last one is our cone. And we have one third times, uh, the height was 12 times five squared, 100 pi. We didn't press the pi button there and centimeters cubed. All right, we don't do this too often, but we'll try to answer this one in terms of pi. So we've got 83.3 repeating. You can type a couple of those, uh, plus the 100 and plus the 250. All right, so we have 433.3 repeating pi cubic centimeters. So there's our total volume in terms of pi. I just put it there instead. And then we're gonna round it. So we'll even label this, or this will be our volume. And our final answer rounded the nearest tenth is we'll just press times by pi. All right. So we got uh, 1,361 point, and we have four, 1361.4.
All right, I'm probably not gonna do that again too often because it doesn't really work out too well with the sphere, but just so that you could see. And if um, I lost you in there, we could just in the future round these and add them all up to get that answer. We'd probably get that same exact answer. So this lesson is about um, using multiple formulas, combining stuff, and maybe also watching out for, they sometimes give us a half sphere here. We need to make sure that we include um, half of it as we tackle that problem.